All right, Lee, well, thanks for uh, taking the time to sit down with no us and talk about it. Now, uh, you're in Winnipeg here. Can you tell us why you're in town? Because uh, Charlie invited me. Uh, yeah. But more seriously, as you know, we've made two acquisitions uh, in Winnipeg over the last four years, uh, Bieber Securities, mm -hmm. which joined the National Bank family uh, in 2008, and uh, Wellington West, who then uh, joined us also in 2011. So it is long overdue. Uh, we do a lot of these uh, luncheons where I talk a little bit about the bank. Our chief economist talks about what he sees in the world in terms of markets and economy. And then at the end, we take questions from the audience and we have a, a little bit of a chat. Let's go back to a couple of years ago, actually even further back, because you started buying pieces of Lodge well, West four or five years ago. Uh, in 2008, there was the opportunity to, uh, uh, to invest in the company. and. Uh, I think we felt that uh, culturally and financially it was a good fit. We knew the company for doing its back office, so we had a pretty close relationship. So we did that investment, not knowing exactly where it was going to lead down the road, but we felt that it was uh, a good investment. And then uh, subsequently, uh, Charlie and his partners decided that uh, uh, you know they wanted to make a strategic change, and we were very happy they did it within uh, National Bank. And you kind of dipped your toe into the Winnipeg waters with Bieber. That's right. A couple years before that. That's right. So how, how have both of these acquisitions been going for you? Very good. Uh, we're very happy. Uh, Guy Bieber was here today with many, uh, many of his uh, members of his team. Uh, so I think it's, uh, it's, it's a business. Uh, it was a good transaction for all parties. Uh, from the point of view of National Bank, it was a, uh, uh, an industry, a space that we know very well, which is full retail service brokerage. We've been expanding in that, uh, in that business outside of Quebec now for, for decades. And those two acquisitions allowed us to accelerate. And it's also from a geographical standpoint. We were underrepresented in, uh, in Manitoba and uh, a little extent also in Saskatchewan. And uh, these transactions allowed us to, uh, to have a much greater presence uh, in this region. And Charlie was always a longtime independent guy like not being a bank guy, yep. bit of a maverick out there, good quote for guys like me. Have you had to reel him in a little bit? Listen, maverick, we're a little bit the maverick too, frankly. Mm -hmm. I think that's how we position ourselves in the banking world. Uh, we are very different. We sound different. Uh, we look different in some sense in terms of, of, of branding uh, than uh, our Toronto uh, competitors. Mm -hmm. So that's why we felt very comfortable. We knew Charlie from having done business with him for many, many years. So Charlie has been, and his team has been no surprise to us, and we're very comfortable with that. How would you describe the difference with, differences between National Bank and the other the Toronto banks, as you say? Because a lot of people, especially in Winnipeg, you know, might not know National Bank as much. You don't have yeah. as many ads Correct. on TV. You don't Correct. have bricks and mortar. Yeah. The, there are many big differences. Uh, one, I think we're, because of our history and where we come from, we're more sensitive, in fact, a lot more sensitive to regional differences and, and to the concept of proximity. Um, so, um, and so that's why when, we, 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 when we're present in a region and then when we made these investments, we wanted, we wanted to have a critical mass to be able to make a difference and to make a local statement that says, we care well about Manitoba and Winnipeg because we're present. Mm -hmm. And we know that not everybody thinks and not everybody acts like they work within a quarter mile of Bay and, and, uh, and uh, um, Bay and King in, in Toronto. That, that's, that's a big difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very sensitive where we come from about being sensitive to uh, local cultural issues, local economic issues, mm -hmm. and we, you know, we like to, to bring uh, you know, those sensitivities along with us. Mm -hmm. And that's why we've done very well in that business, but in many other businesses, because we, are, we take a more different approach. In terms of the, the banks in Canada now, where does National Bank fit in? Are you guys You've been number six for so long. Yeah, we're number six. Uh, but, you know, listen, uh, the question in terms of shareholder return over the last five years, we're number one. So mm -hmm. depends. You know, asset size, believe me, if asset size was the, uh, the answer to everything, Citibank would have been the best performing stock on the planet mm -hmm. for the last five to ten years. It's not been the case. Mm -hmm. uh, where we sit, we're the most Canada-focused of the Canadian banks in the sense that our growth strategy is not in the U.S. and it's not internationally. It remains here in Canada, particularly in Western Canada. What's your growth strategy in Winnipeg? Will, it, will, will Winnipegers see more national bank buildings out there? Or some, uh, organically, some I think, are we going to build a lot of brick and mortar? Short term, the answer is no. I think where we want to be, we have good, very good platform in wealth management. 
So we want to continue to grow that organically. That's why we're here today. Uh, we need more visibility. We need to get out there. So more organic growth from the existing platform. Uh, commercial banking in selected areas in commercial banking, manufacturing, maybe uh, agricultural. We've been present for many while, for a while. We may want to be more present and, and maybe acquisitions if the opportunity shows up. Keep in mind, we also have partners in town. We have a 10-year relationship with investors group where we provide certain service and products and to their investment managers. Mm -hmm. And we just renewed for another 10 years that relationship this year. So, you know, so we have, we have uh, colleagues, employees, clients, and partners in Winnipeg.